onto your pages specifically. And I've shown you a couple of uh, the pages that I already made, but let's show you page creation in Entre Pages. So you can do uh, all these um, things using HTML code and, um, and legacy pages, which is kind of its own beast and things like that. But I, I keep using Entre Pages because it's super simple. So I'm just going to create new. So here you have a whole bunch of different templates you can choose from. So if you scroll through here and you find something that kind of matches, um, feels right for your business when you're making your initial template, uh, you can use them. And most of them are already set up as thank you pages because that's a, a thing you need right away. I'm going to start from scratch because I usually do. And then we will add a block and I'll show you my favorite. <laughs> I have favorite blocks in each of the categories. Um, so we'll start with headers because that's where it would be on the top. So there's a lot of options. Again, if you, if you want to have links and have this more, use it more like a website, you can make a header more like these ones where they have the menu options. Um, so then it can actually match your website a bit more. I usually just make it a, um, they're just temporary pages and quite obviously so. So I use this one uh, and then just throw in my logo there and, and put my, my links over there rather than having the full menu stuff. But there's, you can see there's some here and you can put your logo here and have all of your links and then have uh, sign up or log in if you have a member site. So once I get to a point where I have a member site, I, I may change my favorite and end up using that one. But right now this one's my favorite. Oh, sorry, this one's my favorite. And then once, so let's just add that in for, for good measure so you can see what happens. So you can add it in and they start with their colors. Um, but as I've, as I've shown you in the little color one, I can quickly change to my colors by going in because I've input those another day. Change it to my colors so that it gives me um, my color options. All right, let's toss my logo in here. So this gives me all the images I've uploaded. There's my logo, click insert, um, save, and then we can do the social sharing, pick how we want the icons to look, and pick their size. We can make them a bit bigger if we want. They fill up more space and then click on each one and put in your ULR. And I always make this new window. Um, I don't want people to lose the page if it's important, like it's a worksheet content or anything, just so they can go like my Facebook page. So I always change these to open a new window. That's a little bonus tip today. All right, so I'll just show you quickly my favorite image one, because uh, a lot of these uh, act differently when you change the image out. So my favorite one to use is this one. And I just recognize it by its image because it, um, it fits the image that I put in it better than others have. So I can put this really long one in long skinny one and it'll just kind of auto fit it or I can put this taller one in oh, that it doesn't like because it's too big um, but it'll show me anyway and it's and then it's this giant thing and it just kind of fits anything and I like that it'll do that because it has more versatility so I'll leave that there for now since this is just a, a makeshift page. And let's add one more block. 
What else do we like? So there's banners, um, buttons. These are useful if you're um, putting links to things. Uh, Callouts, logos. Countdown timers are cool. So there's a simple one, or there's ones that are built in with other pages. So if you're launching something, you can use countdown timers for it. Coupons. Um, this one, uh, the custom HTML one, if you're um, a web designer anyway, or you have uh, things you can pull right off of your website that you want to add in there, you can do that. Um, once I get the code from my web designer, I will show you what I intend to do with um, some custom HTML blocks. And then dividers. Again, I have a couple different dividers that I like. I really like this one because um, it's nice and simple and, and it actually feels like a divider. I use this one when I've got an image where the color's slightly off white. Uh, like on my thank you page just because then I can make a break between the white and the slightly off-white because it bothers me. I'm affected by colors. Um, this one apparently shows shows Facebook comments which is pretty exciting. I actually haven't used that one yet and then I've got there's a few there's lots of options with footers. As you can see there's full website ones if you if you want to again make your page look more like a website, uh, but I tend to just use these these skinny little ones because I'm just doing quick mini pages. Um, but yeah, you can make it fit. I've already done headers and images uh, and forms apparently are an Entreport Pro thing. Wow, you can make full forms. I'm not uh, using Entreport Pro yet because I don't need it. So. Um, I like the pricing option ones too for, and I've used them for all sorts of things that weren't pricing options. <laughs> and same with product details. There's one in here that I really like. Uh, where did it go? Oh, I can't find it, but I think it might be this one. I changed them so much that it's hard to recognize them after a while. <laughs> Slideshows, smart forms. So here's another. You can put forms right in your uh, right in your page, and then link them to your email system. Straight up social sharing. I use uh, this testimonial one as a image thing fairly often, and then text. And a lot of the text ones are actually really good for all sorts of things. Like, as you can see, this would be really useful for uh, product things. This one I've used for um, testimonial image images where I've done quote in pictures in Canva. Um, yeah, lots of the text ones are, are super useful. Upselling forms, again, that's a pro thing. And then videos, you can actually um, embed videos on your on your author pages. So that's kind of an overview of what of what they have. And then I guess these are my favorites right now. Uh, once I develop more favorites, I will do another little video on my favorite author page um, elements.